Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or you recently just stumbled upon my video, um, hi, my name is Kat and I currently live in South Korea as an English teacher. And I've been here for a little over a year now. I live in Jeonju, which is the capital of Jolobokdo province. As you can see from my surroundings, if you are not new to my channel, I have moved. So I have moved basically across the city on the other side of the city in like the newer part of Jeonju. And yeah, I moved here once my first year contract um, was finished and I just decided to find my own apartment this time around, but I'm still working with the same um, school and everything. So nothing in that sense has changed. I still live in the same city and everything. I just decided to move to a bigger apartment um, and it was one that I found myself that my school did not provide. I do have an apartment tour, epic apartment tour um, on my channel for the first apartment I was living in for my first year here in uh, Jeonju. And for that apartment, it was given to me by my uh, workplace. So they were the ones who found it and who were renting it for me and etc. So I just showed up to the city and got the apartment. But for this time around, I decided to do the other option that a lot of English teachers have the opportunity to do, which is to find our own apartments rather than the, our workplace finding it for us. So although I really did love my previous one room apartment, if you wanna see the tour of that, um, my freshly moved to Jeonju face is there and everything, you can check that out. I'll leave a link down below to that apartment. But essentially it was a one room, so everything was one room and it was on the fourth floor of a villa um, and it was like, right across from my workplace. So it was really easy to get there. It took about like five minute walk max. So I guess I'll just talk about why I decided to move and kind of the process of that. And then I will show you actual footage of my new place. Wasn't 100% sure that I wanted to move until towards the end of my contract. I really enjoyed my first apartment. And the thing that I really loved about it was that I was on the fourth floor, which was the like, last level of the villa so there was nobody above me except for like the landlord's workshop or whatnot i also got a lot a lot of sunlight um, during the day which i really like that's like my main criteria when it comes to living in a place is i like to have sunlight like daylight is something i need <laughs> i'm not one of those people that like gets blackout curtains and like doesn't like sunlight and stuff like that I need sun everywhere so I really liked the apartment because it had that but towards the end like the last few months I was living there I realized I was kind of outgrowing the place um, I find myself always just like lying on my bed because that was the only place really to sit and also one of the neighbors below me a new guy moved in and he was a smoker and unfortunately he was smoking in his bathroom and the vent like the smoke smell would go up through the vent ventilation into my bathroom and so my like entrance area um, and my bathroom would always smell like cigarette smoke which was horrible but yeah anyways just all these little things just kept happening and i decided you know I could move. I can look for a new apartment and also a lot of my friends who lived in my area had left and so I decided, you know what, let's just move, see what I can find. If I find a good apartment, cool. The moving process was very, very quick here in Korea. As soon as you start looking for apartments and as soon as you find a good apartment you like, it's recommended to just go for it and to like make a deposit and like say yes this is what i want before even going apartment hunting i kind of decided or determined what neighborhoods or what areas of the city i would want to live in or i'd want to look i think that's the first step you should do when looking for apartments is determine where do you want to live and then i also of course made like a budget of what i wanted to spend for rent 
And so for Epic, I'm an Epic teacher and Epic gives you an apartment salary. So they will give their teachers 400,000 won for rent per month. I also made a list of what like the criteria of what I was looking for in an apartment. So the num number one thing I really wanted was of course, daylight. That was my main objective, was I needed to have a place that has good lighting. Not for filming or anything, just because that is what I need to live with. <laughs> that is what I crave. The second thing I wanted was preferably a two-room apartment, which meant there was like a living quarters and then there was a bedroom. So that's a two-room. Yeah, I wanted two-room ideally with a lot of sunlight. And those are my main criteri criterias. That's pretty much all I really asked for. Yeah, and then towards the end of January or just all throughout January and in the beginning of February, I was using the app Jipbang, which is a Korean realtor app. And there are actually two kind of apps. There's Jipbang and, and I think in English it's called Zipbang, but I'm not entirely sure. There, um, and then there's also Dabang, um, which I've never used Dabang but I think they're very similar. So I was using that app and on that app, basically you can put a filter of everything you're looking for in apartments, um, including rent, the room size you want and the area you're looking for. And then you can just scroll through and um, you'll be on like a map and it'll show you all the places that are available. And so I use that app. Um, I will say the, I'm pretty sure the app only comes in Korean. At least I've never checked to see if there's an English version. There might be an English version for website because it is also a website. But for the app, I think it's strictly only Korean. But if you have a decent understanding of Korean and you know how to navigate the app, it's very easy, very simple. So I was just using that app and I started looking at places in Jeonju and I favorited a lot of places just um, so I could potentially look at them when I actually did start looking, but also um, when I went to the realtor, I could, rather than me try to explain what I wanted, I could show them, hey, this is these are the kind of places that I like. Can you show me something like this? So then the day came to actually go apartment hunting. I went apartment looking for one day with a friend and we went to one realtor that, the first realtor we went to, um, was English friendly um, in the sense that they kind of spoke English. They showed me about three different places. I liked some of them, but I wasn't really in love with any of them. We went to a second realtor actually that I had found off of the app, Jipbong, because they were the realtors in charge of one of the apartments that I really liked. And so we went to them and I asked them, can you show me this apartment on the app? Um, and so they took us. To, they took us to that apartment, and it would have been a great apartment, except for the fact that, like in the app. So this is something you have to be careful when using the Jipong or any type of realtor app, is that sometimes the pictures are old. The, this apartment had massive windows in like the living room area, and it was so so nice. But when we actually went to go see the apartment. They had recently built a building right next to it, so it blocked out a lot of the sunlight, which was very sad, but just fate. And honestly, I'm happy they built the building right there because I like the apartment that I ended up going with better. Uh, so anyways, um, so yeah, they showed me that apartment, but after I was like, I don't really like it, they showed me two more places. And the third place and final place they ended up showing me is the one that I went with. Yeah, so in total, I spent one day looking at apartments and I saw six different apartments and I used two different realtors. So yeah, things went by really fast. Um, as soon as they showed me this, this apartment, I was kind of just like, you know, I need to make a decision because I don't want to wait till the last minute um, to move out of my old place and like just rush everything. I didn't want to rush everything. So. On the spot, I said, okay, I'm gonna go with this place. That same night, I ended up signing all the contracts and putting down a deposit for this apartment. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the gist of how getting this apartment came to be, but I didn't end up moving in until this, into this apartment until like late February, I would say like February, 
22nd, 23rd, around there. So that is my moving story. Uh, if you have any specific details you wanna know, feel free to ask. So the place that I live in now is a two room apartment and it is on the third floor of my building. It is another villa. There are four floors, but the fourth floor is only where the landlords live. So I guess now is the time to do the tour. Enjoy. <laughs> so once again, this is the area that you come into when you first come into my apartment. Nothing has really changed about this except these are obviously now being used. <laughs> um, so I still have like a lot of space up there. Just have extra supplies, my mask collection, my grocery bag stuff, random stuff. And here I have random stuff as well, but pretty organized, I'd say. Oh, I mean, decently organized. I have all my candles in there. Um, and then I have all my shoes. I'm not a shoe person, so I don't really have a lot of shoes. Like, literally I have one of everything and that's pretty much it. Nothing too fancy about that. And then in here, we have these. Oh, I need to um, clean, clean that. It's very echoey. So we have the sliding door, anyways. Sliding door very echoey in there and I usually just close it when I'm actually here that's that so down here we just have that's my school bag but also just like my bag that I take daily bag whatever you want to call it and then here I have my ZZ plant that is still surviving I'm so happy with him and I have at night he looks really nice all like this, very pretty at night. Um, and then I have a collection of wine. <laughs> so I recently actually had like a little housewarming, apartment warming gathering with three of my friends and it was a wine and cheese night. So we had a lot of wine, we had a lot of cheese. Um, we only ended up drinking one wine though. <laughs> I am one of those people that really likes to collect wine bottles. So here we have my collection. Behold. So this is actually a recent addition to my apartment that I got last week. And I thought it came with a frame, but it does not come with a frame, but it does come with like a, um, a thing of a bob. So we're just gonna take this off. Ta-da, it is finished. So anyways, as you can see, it is a Claude Monet print of one of his water lilies and Claude Monet's water lilies, like his series of water lily paintings are my all time favorite paintings. So I really wanted to get something of his and I found this on, by the way, a lot of the things, like a lot of my furniture is from a Korean app called Onore Jeep. Okay, and then we have a blank wall. We have a blank wall. Right there um, is actually where I usually keep my plant, my pothos plant, but right now he's getting some sun, so um, I don't have him here, but I usually at night, I'll put him here to hide this. <laughs> and then right here, I have my um, 2020 calendar, Phoenix calendar that I bought off of Etsy from one of my favorite artists on Instagram. And yeah, I really like it. It's very pretty. And so yes, this is my wall. And you might be wondering why it is just blank. And that's mainly because I use this wall as my projector wall. So I bought a projector and this is where I display movies. have a little rug from the same app Onuri Jeep. Onuri Jeep. Oh, why is this so difficult to say? 
And then um, this coffee table uh, I actually had in my old apartment. It's very nice. It has like a little thing where I can store things, little shelf. Here I have my couch, which is small, but it can fit me comfortably. And it can also fit two or even three people. So that's all that really matters, right? And then behind my couch, <laughs> you might find very weird, I have a TV and this, this apartment came with this TV that was mounted onto the wall and I'm actually going to get a friend um, to help me take this down because obviously I don't use the TV. Instead I use ta -da, my little projector which also has this little film thing on. So let's take that off. Oh, that is so, so satisfying. I can hook up my computer to this and then project onto that wall and it's very lovely to have. So I guess here is a full look of the living room and then right up there I have my air con. Full look of the living room during the day. And then if we go over here, more sliding doors. The sliding doors are everywhere. If we open it, we have my balcony that goes out into the wind window, the big window. So on the left, two suitcases where I store a lot of extra stuff and winter clothes. And then I have this um, floor mattress uh, that I was using and before my real mattress came. There's that. And then here I just used these two shelves, which are very nice to have, but I just use them for storage. Um, and for my little pothos plant, ideally for this, I want to have a bunch of different plants. That is my um, goal to do because this gets like a lot of nice sun. So yeah, I want to have a lot of plants here, but this is my little pothos plant that I put over there. So then we have the big windows, which I love. I have a little wine bottle there as well, but that's empty. And then I have these two paintings that I did um, last year, a long time ago. <laughs> And then here I have my dirty clothes that I need to wash, my washing machine, my, what's it called? Vacuum. That is that situation. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and then over here, I just, basically how I decorate is with a bunch of postcards. <laughs> so I have a postcard from, these two postcards are from the Bunker Luminary, Illuminae? I can't remember what it's called, but the light museum that I went to when I was in Jeju last year, which you can see in my Jeju vlog, but they were doing a Van Gogh exhibition. So I got my two favorite paintings from him. Well, one of my two favorite paintings. Well, two of my two favorite, two of my favorite paintings from him. Wow. Um, and then the, this one is actually a new one that I got when I was in Daegu visiting a friend. She took me to this really cute cat shop and they had a bunch of like Japanese cat art so I got a few of those which you will see more of later on. This is actually a <laughs> um, little postcard that I got from this brand called Mingle London. I'm not entirely sure um, but anyways I ordered a shirt from them and this came in the package which I just thought was really nice and goes with the yellow theme and then this is a postcard print from a local artist here in Jeju and I really love hotok so I had to get the hotok stand. <laughs> this is also another artist, local artist from Jeju. She does like a lot of flower, floral stuff with animals. And then here is actually a vintage postcard that my mom found at an antique store back in North Carolina, where my family lives, and this is the Biltmore Estate, which is the famous place in North Carolina. And so yes, I just have those all together. And thankfully, this is the only pattern of wallpaper that my apartment has. The rest is like this plain color, and then we just have this, <laughs> this design, which I quite like, so I'm not mad about that. Then we move on to the kitchen. Ignore this. So that is my actual trash that I need to take out. And then behind that is just a bunch of recyclable stuff that I need to take down and sort, which I eventually will. Anyways, moving on. 
So the front entrance is right there. Then right here, I have this shelving unit, which I actually had back at my old apartment as well. And on the shelving unit, I have my oven and then my kettle, which I both had at my old apartment, my tea and coffee collection. Then down here are all of my books and like notebooks that I have. And then I have an empty shelf. And then over here, we have my fridge. So my fridge has a bunch of little cute things that I've picked up. Pictures, postcards, magnets. This one's my favorite. It has dubu. Dubu is tofu, by the way. But anyways, yes. So on top of my fridge, I have a lot of like my vitamins and my cards that I've received. I have this beautiful map of Jeju, which like if you open it up, it's really, really pretty. And I kind of want to like put it somewhere, but for now it's just right there. And then I just have like extra bags right there. And then I have this Coca-Cola can that um, I got last spring and I just thought it was really pretty. So I kept it along with these empty mugs from Starbucks. So I collect Starbucks mugs from different cities if they have them. So I have the Jeju mug and I also have the Busan mug and I just really like the boxes. So I kept them as well. Okay, and then here I just have my kitchen, which I'm not going to show you my sink because like I said, it's got a lot of pots that I need to clean. But here we have my kitchen. My kitchen is quite small, I guess you would say for American standards but it's good for one person and it has a lot of storage. So I mean like, I've got a lot of storage here. Where I keep cleaning supplies, extra milk, etc. Then I have right here, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of baking and miscellaneous stuff. This is a drawer of miscellaneous stuff as well for baking mainly. <laughs> um, and then here, I keep extra pots and such, and potatoes, and my machines when I'm not using them. Big bag of chickpeas, some lentils, some corn. Yeah, not corn, rice. Um, I have two burner of gas. The gas is right there, you turn it, and then you can click it, it'll turn on. I have all my oils and sauces and such. And <laughs> Why am I giving you a tour of my kitchen? I don't even know. Um, all my spices, some pastas and whatnot. And those are just like extra stuff that I don't really go for. But anyways, and then I just have, I can open this, fine, let me open this. All of my utensils, cups and bowls and plates and whatnot. So yes, that is that. And then here we have my bathroom. So this is my bathroom. It is slightly bigger than my old bathroom and it also comes with a window. It's very typical. Um, you got the shoes and you have the shower. Everything gets wet, wet room. Then I just have a bunch of stuff in there. So I don't really need to go through that. It's not that important. Then we have my bedroom. So my second room, so this is what it looks like before you walk in. So here's my mattress. <laughs> so I had to buy the mattress and it took like three weeks to get here, which I ended up sleeping on this rug that I had from my old apartment and was very, very painful, but whatever. I finally got the mattress and it's a floor mattress, um, which was not the intention, but I honestly just don't really want to buy a full like bed frame. And I don't mind sleeping on the floor with a mattress. So I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging, digging it. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. I have my little light um, that I had from my old apartment. Uh, and then I just have more postcards here. <laughs> so this is again from the Daegu uh, store, cat store. It's a little cat with some plants. It's really cute. And it reminds me of one of my cats that we had growing up. And these two are actually new. I got these both from the Seoul exhibition that I went to in Insadong. They're just traditional, come on, focus. There we go. They are just traditional um, Korean paintings of flowers. And this one is a phoenix. As then I have my Tokebi goblin little dude that I got when I studied abroad here. He comes with me everywhere. 
then here I had this little setup in my last apartment as well but I just have this tapestry that I got off of coupon of sunflowers because sunflowers if you have not guessed are my favorite these three uh, postcards are all from Redbubble. They're from a photographer and I just, I really like ocean, the ocean scene. So I got them. Yes. And then we have my windows, which are also very good size. Obviously that's kind of a bit too long, but I kind of like it like that. So. And then over here on this side is where I keep all of my stuff. All of my clothes are here. So I had to buy the, I had to buy these two things. So this is where I keep all my clothes. I did put away my winter clothes, so it's not that bad. But yes, as you can see, I have a common color theme when it comes with clothes. <laughs> Ta-da! Doesn't look as epic right now, but uh, in the evening and nighttime, it looks really nice. But anyways, I just have my long jeans and pants there, some long shirts, sweaters, and sweatshirts. These are all my skirts. And then all my clothes. And then down there, I have extra towels and miscellaneous stuff in there, actually. I have my oil diffuser. I have my film camera, which is a new hobby that I have taken up this year. And then, yes, I just have clothes in here, which I'm not gonna go through because they're just clothes. Now on the back of my door, I have a little hanger where I put all my extra bags, my jacket, my hat. And yes, so that is that, that is it. So that is my apartment tour.